Good Sunday morning. Happy July. The announced retirement of Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy this week helped make one political reality clear. Despite his overall unpopularity, President Trump is winning, and the Democrats right now are reeling. The Supreme Court. Mr. Trump is about to shape the court for a generation by choosing a possible tie-breaking conservative justice. And he's already filled the lower courts with like-minded conservatives. How about the Republican Party? The president's approval rating among Republicans is around 90 percent. Elected Republicans fear criticizing him, and the party has become a cult of personality, his. How about fake news? Mr. Trump has turned that phrase, which initially referred to the phony Russian-generated stories designed to support his campaign in 2016, into an applause line now to discredit responsible reporting showcasing his misdeeds. How about credibility? If reporters faithfully fact-check the president's serial misstatements, they risk being considered biased. If they don't, the misstatements gain traction. Either way, Mr. Trump wins. The Mueller investigation. The president has succeeded in convincing millions that the investigation is biased, despite trafficking only in innuendo and not providing evidence. Then there's the economy. It is doing well. But it was doing well before he took office. Yet with unemployment down and jobs being created, President Trump is getting this credit. Still, much of Mr. Trump's success is superficial. While he's more popular among Republicans, the party overall is shrinking. His trade war, North Korea, or the Mueller investigation all could turn against him and frankly could turn against him now like North Korea has. But if the Democrats' reaction this week to the Kennedy retirement proved anything, it's that the Democratic Party has not figured out in the Trump era. You know, we Democrats are a big tent. The Supreme Court fight has exposed a Democratic Party largely united in 